NFL week 16 now in the books I look at four teams from yes from the weekend that did a good job wildcard teams that did a good job just holding down the fort holding down and their positioning that being the bills I'm sorry not the bills uh, Seattle the Packers Pittsburgh and the Rams did a good job just getting the job done okay doing what they needed to do getting a win the Buffalo Bills not impressive but that's the way it goes sometimes in these games they won 22 to 20 to continue they're uh, playing very well lately so Lions and Browns continuing to get it done very nice job Lions and Browns are two teams that are playing good December football right now I like what I see from both of those teams uh, Buccaneers are the team in the lead at 8 and 7 in the NFC South just came out of nowhere in fact as of like yesterday when they went up against the Jacksonville Jaguars I don't think anyone cared or, or anyone even knew that they were had a chance to get in front in the NFC South so good for them Falcons and Colts you talk about the Colts Dewey's Colts blowing a grand opportunity playing a mediocre team with the slumping Jaguars they could have jumped out in front in the AFC South but as it is it ain't to be as it is they are still the last wild card team but that would have been big they could have won that game instead they got beaten pretty soundly by Andrews Falcons Miami and Dallas was the a really surprise game really a surprise game on New Year's Eve birds uh, flying south it seems they're congregating I see that a lot this time of year it was the battle of who's gonna be the who's gonna claim the mantle of the the fraud team they can't beat anybody Miami finally beating a good team taking out Dallas a very close game so good job by Miami to hold that number uh, two spot as they try to fight for that number one who knows maybe they're finding something this time of year I jinxed Denver a couple weeks ago with my three quarters of the way NFL top 10 rankings saying that they would be the team to watch out for going into January <laughs> and now they're on the outside looking in Ugh, what a loss for Denver not good for them how about the Raiders oh my gosh the upset of the week Raiders how about that well done Christmas miracle very nicely done by the by the Las Vegas Raiders with a backup quarterback no less Wow my goodness Chiefs hard times Eagles back on track they're gonna get that number one seed they got two cupcakes left more on that later one down two to go 49ers Ravens game of the game of the year thus far was a dud Harbaugh is the real thing Shanahan is a fraud he Harbaugh out coached Mr. Shanahan what a finesse you know what team the 49ers are paper tiger very very soft a lot of soft players on that team. I know a lot of you are going to bring this up next week. I've already said they're going to win by about 50 points next week. And then that sets up a huge game against the Rams in the final week. 
the uh, loss by the New York Giants yesterday. And Rep Dogs team put up a nice fight. Once they put Ty God in there, it was a good call by Brian Dable. But that loss officially eliminated them from playoff contention. And the Giants were the only team from Sunday and Monday to be officially eliminated from the playoffs. So it's still a packed crowd. I think the Chargers were officially eliminated the other night with their loss, if they were not before. But I'm not sure about that. So, all right, NFC, San Francisco, hanging to that number one spot. The Lions at two. This is why I said a month or so ago, the EMG and Brett, why are you conceding the number one seed to another team? They're right there with a chance to get the number one seed. Hit two. Crazy. Crazy. I don't know why. Y'all did that. At the three seed, the Eagles, who will get the number one seed, I believe. I think the Eagles are going to end up getting that one seed. A couple of wins, and then Shanahan is going to choke to McVay. Number four seed, of course, is the NFC South leader, which at the moment is Tampa Bay Buccaneers at eight and seven. I don't think anybody wants to see uh, New Orleans or Atlanta. The Bucks would be kind of an interesting team to, to watch of all those crappy South teams. So, for the wild cards at the moment, five, Dallas, not where they want to be. That is not a good spot for them. They don't want to be at five. Six is Rams, and seven is the Seattle Seahawks. So the NFC West, very strong right now with three playoff teams if the, if the season ended today. After that, you have four, seven and eight teams Hanging in there. And then you have one six and nine team as the Chicago Bears still alive. Bear Scott and Weed Man. Did you know that? <laughs> They're still alive. So AFC number one, Baltimore. They should hold on to that. Yeah, Kansas City's not getting the number one. I know I said that over and over, but it ain't happening. Alright. Dolphins two. Dolphins still have a chance, I said earlier, to Get that one. Things break right. And then Kansas City three. After all their woes, they're still in a pretty solid uh, three spot. Who knows? That could move to two. And then four is the, AF, the AFC South leading, <laughs> clinging by a thread, Jaguars. And the only reason they're clinging to that spot is because of the Colts gagging. So, you know, on uh, on Sunday, so Browns at five, a wild card, still have a chance at the uh, nah, probably not, <laughs> but probably pretty much out for the division title. But Browns making some noise, Johnny's team, six Buffalo, everyone talking big about them, but can they win on the road in the playoffs? They got to, they got to get a couple of wins just in a regular season I just don't know uh, I don't know but and then seven Dewey's Colts despite the big loss the Falcons after that they're at seven so that would fill out the AFC team Baltimore Miami Kansas City Jacksonville are the division leaders and then Browns Bills Colts your wild card teams at the moment after that Indy, it's eight and seven. Then you have three other eight and seven teams: Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Houston. When they own the bubble, looking in, could make a play this weekend. Jump into that seven spot. Maybe even six. No. And then you have two seven and eight teams: Raiders and Denver, clinging to their playoff lives. And all that, all that. The tightness of the playoff picture means that after week 17, boys, 
you're not going to have that many teams officially eliminated. You might have like, you know, the Bears and maybe the Broncos. But going into week 18, the final week, you're going to have a lot of teams still alive. A lot of, a lot of games that have a lot of meaning because of the way it's set up now. So it will be a hell of an interesting finish to this season, to this regular season. So stay tuned. All right. This, that's the breakdown of NFL week 16. Let the post-Christmas letdown begin, but we're gonna help cure those blues tonight. A little trivia. All right, guys. Oh, let me say the, I uh, hope you all enjoyed Christmas Fest. It's still going if you wanna keep doing it, but Andy and I have decided last night was the last night for us. Kinda of got some other things to watch. I got a good idea about tonight, so. Hope you enjoyed Christmas Fest 25 days. It was perfect, I believe. I'll see you guys later.